Hi, fire signs. Let's do a check in for you and see what's happening. Um, it's going to be a quick read, hopefully. That's what I say, and sometimes it turns out to be 20 minutes. <laughs> I hope you've seen all your readings, um, and your April readings will be done soon. So you can check those out, but March is still relevant and your check-in reading and elemental sign. Also do check the weekly astrology um, because it has a reading for your signs and also gives you an idea of the energies that you might feel this week or not feel. You can always flag it so that you come back to it as well. Do like, subscribe so that you support the channel and let me know if you had or resonated with this reading. So this is for all Aries, Leo and Sag placements. It doesn't matter where it's your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So do check the other elements of this readings as well. Two of Pentacles. It didn't fall out, but it reversed. It wanted to fall out. So let's see. Are we facing a decision around our finances, our home, some form of stability? Ooh. Ooh. Is this choice or decision about closing out a cycle and starting a new cycle? Are you taking a decision to move in a different direction to where you have been four of swords and the ten of cups so um to me it sounds like you need to do some introspection you need to slow down moving and do some introspection on if you're facing a choice or you are not sure what to do the introspection is going to bring this to you because there's a cycle that's closing out and a new one coming in and ten of cups as long as you listen to what you need to do ten of swords there's a completion of here something that's been really heavy something that's just weighed you down um i know it's not the ten of wands but it's weighed you down it's really got you down maybe you've had sleepless nights well, it's an end so with this wheel of fortune the cycle is ending it's it's confirmed here and you've got the ten of cups as well okay what i feel this is also saying aries Leo sag is that you might have aspirations for something and you might be like you might have gone between, can I make this or can't I make this? Because really the universe is not showing me that it's moving forward or moving forward to the extent I'd like it to move forward. Um, and so I think that's been causing you to think, can I do this? And the answer is, don't think that your dream is just a dream. Um, it's your reality. Start speaking it into existence. Don't think for a second you're unworthy of the beautiful, a beautiful new cycle, a beautiful new cycle, experience or lifestyle. Eight of Wands here, which is telling me that you've been putting the hard work in. And I think there's some turnover with this Wheel of Fortune. I know I keep going to it, but it's a major arcana. That's the one that gives us the universe is stepping in. There's also with the Wheel of Fortune that the universe is telling you to trust. It's going to be okay. Continue to put your work into what you're doing. There will be movement. There's your confirmation with your Eight of Wands. There will be movement. This is turning to be a beautiful reading. Uh, it's a lovely reading. It's flowing in such a 
harmonized direction it's lovely um I wonder if this is also some of you learning to go with the flow where it's been very difficult to in the past where you're not seeing movement. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer in your energy. They're just in your energy somewhere. But I think it's that there is going to be movement. Some of you could actually with this two of pentacles have a firm decision on a movement, either environment, but also direction in life. I'm really getting that. And you've got the seven of swords here i'm going to clarify that because that's really about i think it's to do with the direction you're moving from you're moving from something that actually was uh, there was some uh, it's not aligned for you there's been some deceit there's been some um lack of honesty I don't know why I'm getting the word manipulation here. So some of you might have been manipulated in, by someone or something. Um, but I think you need to... Um, one second, sorry. I just want to check. Um, also, just be careful that there could be someone around you who could be um, deceptive. I'm really feeling... A, the word manipulation so if you're trying to move in a direction where you know someone you've spoken to someone about it and maybe they're like worried about losing you and so they might be manipulative um or using deceit or lack of honesty in their own best interest to keep you around or for their own best interest or whatever the situation is um but there is a positive success, like I said, with the Eight of Wands, after putting in the hard work, after the struggle. Um, and it's it's also with this, it, you know, the, the person's not weighed down. They're, they've got energy to keep going. But I do feel that you have felt um, quite heavy at times with this Ten of Swords. Is it Ten of Swords? Yeah, the Ten of Swords and also you know that's where you've been juggling do maybe some of you have been juggling should i go back to my old lifestyle you know i try to i'm trying to make this move or should i make this move i've been trying to but it's not working out why isn't it working out the hangman's man confirmation to just flow so if you've been trying to flow that's what you really need to do is enjoy the moment the past is the past aries leo sag you're ready to turn this new leaf. You've been making lots of promises to your inner child as well. Five of Cups. It's not really been something that you've been very happy with. And you're really not. And I feel this is also currently. You're not happy because you, you can't see this new cycle that's coming in. After the eight, the, you know, the eight of Wands. The new cycle that's coming in. It's kind of like, where's my sign? You know, where is my sign? I've tried to go with the flow. Um, you've been making promises to your inner child or recognizing your inner child as well. Um, and it wants you to know that it's cheering you on because it sees the, the difference. I don't know why I'm feeling a bit emotional with that. You can accomplish all these dreams. It's action time. And we said about dreams at the beginning. So continue with this. It's all coming together. I just want to pull one more card because I'm hoping that we get page of wands. Someone who is got the great ideas, but there's a fear of making that change or driving forward. So do some of you have been putting in the work to drive forward. Some of you have are feeling a bit fearful to continue and questioning if you should continue on what you've been working on and trying to manifest or the change and direction that you've been doing. Um, and some of you are actually thinking about doing this change of direction because you've got great ideas, but there's a bit of fear. And um, here it's saying it's completed. Whatever you are currently in that's not been working out, that you've been dragging out as well, it's completed so you have a new cycle coming in 
um, and things you will feel much better you won't be in this five of cups I also feel that there's a bit of you're in your feeling um, you you're in your emotions quite a bit um, and it's time to let the past leave and be where it is in the past um, because it's not it will not repeat its, itself as much as you doubt uh, where you are right now that's what I'm feeling from these cards you're seeing the signs and you know you're in the right place it's just that I'm getting there's a bit of a block like you're not seeing 100% and we can't sometimes so there's worry there um, allow yourself to feel as well if when you need to feel do feel that um, you could you could use a crystal carry it with you if you're having a difficult time um, and wear it with you meditate with it if you if if you are love then you're worthy of love as well you're worthy of your dreams um, I think for some of you there is a question about if you're worthy of love as well um, I do see in your recent readings there has been that love is coming up and I do think love is coming up look wish fulfillment as I say that I was just like pulled half this deck and I got the card wish fulfillment so that that as I'm saying about love it's saying it's coming in that's just confirmed what I was saying so it could be deepening of the commitment of the relationship you're in as long as it's in the right relationship and happiness rest recovery with all these cards so do take care of yourself and let me know what comes to light I'm definitely with you Aries Leo Sag I do hope all this starts to shift and we get somewhere because uh, we are going to look at how beautiful it is and you know the 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 card that I pulled half of the deck I don't know if I can get it again because I put the cards back yeah is very similar to the ten of cups wish fulfillment is telling me wish fulfillment is coming in so that's a beautiful reading do check your sun moon rising and venus signs and um, if this resonated and you liked the reading give it a like please just subscribe so you get notified of all the content i'm putting up every day and every two days there's content on the channel if you wanted to work with me for any of my services then you can do so i discuss those um in on the community page they're listed but also um in the latest airy season i discuss those and in various uh readings where i feel um there's a need to raise for example if i felt like there's an energy block for or energy healing needed for a particular sign then i might state it so um you can comment or you can email me check my website or you can yeah those are the ways to contact me <gasps> take care of yourselves and i hope you enjoyed the reading bye for now